Being successful in trading entails more than just reading charts and placing trades. There's a lot more to it than that. Your success is influenced by a variety of factors, some of which are invisible. You must recognize your psychological trading errors in order to advance and improve as a trader. You may stay away from making the most typical psychological trading errors. By keeping an open mind and being willing to identify them, you should concentrate on the frequent errors that traders make and how to avoid them. While some of these are simple to correct and others will require more effort, all of them must be fixed. We all make errors, and the key to growth is learning from them. However, blunders in trading can be expensive, each trader has, at some point or another, made one or more of these trading errors. Here are some tips you can apply along the way to right your trading psychology wrongs. But before we continue, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the bell button and subscribe, so you won't miss any of the next videos we release. 1. Overconfidence. People who seem assured and in charge of their lives are often looked up to. However, overconfidence can damage your account when trading. Suppose you make a trade. It starts to work against you for no apparent reason. The market is only confused. So it must turn out the way you anticipated, right? If you're the kind of person who can't handle the idea of a minor setback, it could end up costing you dearly. If you fall into this category, keep in mind to place your stops immediately following a trade. Don't rely solely on willpower to make bad decisions. The tendency of traders to delude themselves that the market will turn around is known as overconfidence. Overconfidence causes traders to misinterpret the data that is available at any given time or to believe that they are infallible and that their information is superior to that which is actually accessible. Only an informed guess can be made before letting the market take its course. Be persistent and humble. 2. Drinking too much opium. Anyone investing real money in the stock markets is frequently advised to perform their own research before investing. Rather than blindly trusting a random Twitter account, Facebook article, or YouTube personality. Some folks dislike specifics. They continue to be inspired, hanging on hope. They don't plan anything. Your trading account may be at risk as a result of this. You won't understand why you're investing in a stock or when to exit it. If you only do it based on media hype. Anything worthwhile requires some preparation. If you want to act on a hot tip, make sure you also conduct your own research. Moreover, always have a trading strategy. It makes sense that individuals who are eager to learn will look to other, more seasoned engineers, analysts, traders, and stock market players to assist fill in the gaps. However, many of these so-called experts are really just paid shills who frequently have ulterior interests for discussing or subtly endorsing a specific digital asset. You have a duty and responsibility to protect your investment funds by conducting your own research at all times as a member of this community. Don't hang on to hope. 3. Expecting perfection. In all, the word perfect should be avoided when trading. It suggests that there is a universality to the markets, that is, that there is only one way to trade them. Fortunately, it's not like that. The free-flowing nature of the markets is maintained by all the individuals and groups coming together with their various beliefs, trading biases, and trading techniques. And that's what we need to have happen if we are to continue trading at all. It's challenging to put your professions apart. However, you never have complete control over the market. After a losing streak or significant defeat, it might be challenging to maintain your confidence. Although losing is never enjoyable, it is an unavoidable aspect of the game. The smartest traders realize that they will inevitably lose money. They recover quickly from setbacks. If you limit your losses, you can lose transactions and yet be a winning trader. 4. Needing to be right. Trading is primarily a psychological game, and you will never improve as a trader. If you can't admit to yourself when you are wrong, being honest with yourself about what you know and don't know is what you need to do. It's easy to escape responsibility for your failures or losses by blaming others or your broker. You have less power over your own fate the more you place blame on others. Some people enter the trading industry because they prefer not to report to a superior. 
they aspire to be independent and free. Trading can provide you with it. But it'll also make you humble. An excellent student also makes a great trader. You must always be learning. Read as many trading books as you can after years in the industry. Be open to learning from other traders, instructors. Books, videos, the market itself, and other sources. Don't blame the market if you experience more success with one pattern than another. Concentrate on what suits you best and make it work. The key takeaway is that blaming others for your trading failures and always proving to be right robs you of control over your own destiny. Which means denying yourself the opportunity to advance and succeed. 5. Analysis Paralysis. It's crucial to research the markets and develop a trading strategy. But you also need to be courageous and resilient. Whether you win or lose. Some people struggle with starting new projects. But you can't start out as an authority. To develop an understanding of the market. It takes years of practice. And even then. There is still more to learn. You have to plunge into the pool at some point. If you never take a true risk. Your thinking won't get any better. You must make the leap. Albeit you can and should begin by putting little money at risk. Furthermore. If you practice without any risk. You may start to get overconfident in your abilities. Trading with virtual money that is more substantial than what you could expect to use in real life. Also produces a fictitious sense of realism. Many of the psychological trading errors already described above. As well as other undesirable trading behaviors. Can be developed using demo accounts. You can easily cling on to losing transactions longer than you should when you have nothing to lose. When you have a sizable balance to withstand big drawdowns. You want to wish for a market recovery. When you observe the consequences of a large virtual balance. You could develop irrational expectations. Conclusion. Market ups and downs can have a negative emotional impact on you in a profession where competition is so fierce. And regardless of your level of experience. Trading is a highly emotional activity. You could feel irate or frustrated when the market moves against your position. Stop trying to explain why the market should have acted a certain way if you catch yourself doing so. Recognize the feelings. Keep your composure and recognize that you have no control over the market. That's all for today's video. Guys. Tell us your views in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Cheers.